guys, it's Lexi. I hope you're all having an awesome day. It is officially Christmas Eve when I am filming this. I am going to go to my parents' house and um, I figured before I leave today, I might as well film this video and share all of my Christmas themed wax empties and also all of the Christmas wax that I have melted but not finished. So that being said, there are a few days left in this month, of course, and I am just going to kind of like use some of the bags that are almost finished. And also I do have a couple like New Year's type themed scents. I might share that melting basket. It wouldn't be anything really crazy or special, but maybe I'll film a really quick one just to share what I'm going to be melting this week. But um, I will share today all of the stuff that I have used so far in this month of December. So all of these bags in my hands are all completely empty and these are all like Christmas themed scents. And then I also have this little tin down here. And this is also filled with um, some other empty wax containers. And uh, you guys can probably see on this side here, I have this entire basket filled to the brim full of wax that I have been using but didn't finish. So I think I'm going to make a completely separate video because I have a feeling this could be very long. So I'll do like my totally empties, my um, half like partial used empties. And then the thing that I'm also kind of like most excited about is sharing my non-wax empties and my candle, which is part of my project use it up for this past year. We are officially done with this project for the year, which is crazy. I feel like I just started this project, but this year has really flown by and I went to town this month on trying to use a product. And I finished up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like over 10 candles, I think, and tons of body care. This whole bin is full of candles and soap and body wash and lotions, um, and air fresheners and all of that kind of stuff because I'm at my finale. So you guys are going to be seeing um, my project use it up 2021 finale coming up i'm most likely going to be filming that after the holidays um probably like probably between the week of like between christmas and new year's i'll probably film that and then i will be starting a new project for my candle so my goals um i'm not gonna get too into it right now but i think i did a pretty good job for this year so i'm really excited Anyway, let's jump into what this video is technically all about, and it is my wax empties. So we are just jumping right in, and I think we're actually gonna start with this classic right on the top here. So this first one that I melted through was a Fresh Balsam, and this is a Bath & Body Works um, melt. They don't do these anymore, but I ended up picking this up on like an SAS a long time ago, actually. And this performed really, really well. It smelled exactly like their fresh balsam candle and I had zero complaints. This next one I have is from Goose Creek, which I absolutely love the Goose Creek labels on their candles and on their wax melts. I think that the photo labels are the elite labels in my opinion. And I really loved this scent. This is in tree cutting. I want to say this is a take on Bath & Body Works like, um, Sweater weather, I wanna say. It's either sweater weather or flannel. It's one of those two, and I'm kind of blanking on what one I remember it smelling like. Um, I think it was sweater weather. So it was really, really nice, like a crisp, clean, fresh, slightly masculine scent. So if you're looking for a good dupe, then I'd say try that one out. Another Goose Creek I finished up here is in Cotton Candy Blizzard, and this is just a mint and cotton candy scent. I wasn't really over the moon about this one. It wasn't insanely strong if anything it was more on the lighter side it was nice like the combination of the mint and candy cane was something that was new to me and it was kind of nice for that reason but i definitely wouldn't repurchase this one just because of the performance on it um and then finally for my goose creek sense that i completely finished up this is night before christmas and another absolutely beautiful photo label if i can remember the notes of these goose creek ones i will pop them up on the screen 
but um, I think that this is kind of like a sweet, I wanna say that there's an apple in here somewhere and like there are some slight spices, maybe like clove, I think, possibly cinnamon, but it definitely isn't like a red hot cinnamon apple type of scent to my nose. It's more of like a frat or like a clean, no, that's not the right word. It's more of like um, a juicy, warm, non-bakery, like Christmas apple scent. I don't know, that's what it smelled like to me. I could be totally off with the description. It could be something way different, but that's what my nose smelled. And I actually really like this. This is something that I would repurchase, but definitely not until next year. Um, another thing I should say is all of those Goose Creek little like warmer things, they have like six cubes worth of melt. However, I pop this entire thing into my Yankee Candle centerpiece warmer and melt them and they last for like three, three days pretty pretty much I would say is average um, and they're really, really nice that way. All right, let's talk about these two K's melt cups here. I have balsam cedar and winter citrus wreath and the winter citrus wreath I gave a nine out of 10. It was strong and it lasted quite a long time. And then the balsam cedar is a Yankee candle dupe and this one I gave a seven out of 10. Um, it was a nice tree blend. I remember this one being not I don't wanna say significantly lighter, but definitely much lighter than the um, other winter citrus wreath one from K. Another scent from K in a larger size, I have pine cones. And I actually ended up melting this pine cone scent with um, the vanilla sandalwood scent. I, I think it's vanilla sandalwood from Rose Girl. So I tried to do a, um, a dupe of a scent that is no longer available from um, Gypsy Monroe. Anyway, you guys have heard me talk about that a million times on this channel probably, but I wanted to see if it was a comparable scent. I would say it definitely wasn't spot on. It wasn't perfect. I don't think I will ever be able to recreate that exactly, which is disappointing, um, but now that I've been in this wax community for a while, I've realized that like some scents will come, some scents will go, um, and you just have to kind of enjoy it for what it is in the moment, especially because wax doesn't last forever. So um, is this a perfect dupe for that? No, but was this scent really nice and good on its own? I really would say yes. I like pine cone oil and wax. Um, so I would definitely pick up more of this pine cone scent from Kay's because I really like pine cones. Um, and then this scent here is from the Melted Moose. This is Resting Grinch Face, which is pistachio cupcakes, vanilla latte, and fluffy marshmallows. I, I feel I'm so torn on this because I think that I have discovered another fragrance oil that I do not like, and it is the vanilla latte fragrance oil. I, something about that smells and i've said it before in like my rose girls haul that i purchased the vanilla latte scent and it kind of reminds me of barbecue potato chips i don't know but this kind of gave me like a slight hint of that with like like a sweet and nutty pistachio scent and i wasn't about it um it was like yeah just not my thing which i'm sad about because i really thought that on cold that this would do you know be a, a favorite of mine but it just did this weird thing once it warmed up for me so i think that it is just you know some people don't like certain scents like i'm not big on pink sugar i'm not big on zucchini bread i think i'm also just not big on vanilla latte scents so you live and you learn um but i i'm sure that you know other people don't pick up on that scent even if i pick up on it i don't think everyone would pick up on it um, I will say this though, that little like scent shot for Melted Moose lasted forever. I pulled it out before just because I didn't like the scent, um, but it lasted for quite a long time until I finally was like, I gotta pull it out. So performance wise, it did great. Scent wise, it just wasn't my personal preference. Anyway, um, I'm having focusing problems on this camera today, I'm so sorry. So this one here is Midnight Dejan Wax Company and this is in Comforts of Home, which is warm fireplace and fresh baked goods. I absolutely loved the scent. This is something that I would absolutely pick up more of. It was fantastic. The warm fireplace, I don't know what it was about that, but it just smelled like a real authentic fireplace, like going in a cabin. Um, mixed with that baked goods 
it just smelled like it was like a very realistic like you were in a like a cabin and there was a fireplace going and it was cozy and it was comforting um yeah so i even wrote on the back nine out of ten love sweet and smoky so definitely would repurchase that one i loved that scent um, this one here is strawberry Christmas cookie and this is Christmas cookie and strawberry jam. I don't think I wrote on the back of this, but I do remember this being a really nice, authentic strawberry scent. I can be very picky when it comes to strawberry scents, but this was, it smelled like a real strawberry, homemade strawberry jam. And I loved it mixed with like that cookie, but it kind of reminded me mostly of like a strawberry thumbprint cookie. That's the vibe that I got from this. It was incredible definitely would repurchase that one as well um i have quite a few bags here from um the bathing garden and i have been melting through the bathing garden like a crazy person lately like these past few months it's been bathing bathing garden bathing garden so um anyway let me just jump in with snowball express so I did write some of the notes if I could find them um, before the website closed down for the holidays. I think it might be back up now, which I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, I tried. Some bags have it, some bags don't. So this is Peppermint Rock Candy and Vanilla Fudge. I give it a 6 out of 10, sweet, mint, but light. This one is a French Country Christmas. And this one was a vanilla balsam scent. It was a 7 out of 10 in my bathroom. This one I melted um, a couple days ago and I absolutely love it. I actually posted this on my Instagram page. Um, this is buttered gingerbread. And I actually have, let me try to see if I can find the other gingerbread scent from here. Yes, so there are um, two gingerbread scents that I was given as like a sample. Actually, I might've even purchased this one, but they were both fairly small sized, like little wax tarts. And the buttered gingerbread on cold was much more um, spicy and bready, I guess. Definitely like a very spicy, authentic gingerbread scent. But I personally thought I was not going to like this because it was heavy on the spice and cold sniff. And then this one is gingerbread caramel and pear. And this one on cold sniff was very, very rich and sweet and creamy because I think of that addition of the caramel it was like super, super gooey, yummy, and like delicious gingerbread type scent. So I had a feeling I would prefer this one. However, when I melted both of them, I definitely preferred this one and I would repurchase this one 100%. Like the spices kind of toned down once it's melted and it just becomes like, like this beautiful, authentic gingerbread. It smells like you're baking it in the oven type of scent. Um, and then this one on the back I wrote, put in my kitchen and I split it between two warmers. It was light. It was a light sweetness in the air. So I might have messed up by putting it in a larger room. So that might have been on me. But um, I put this one in my bedroom and I left the doors open and it was coming out of my bedroom. So I don't know. Sometimes it depends. Um, but that is my thoughts on that. This one here um, is Angelic Patchouli. And when I posted my haul, I want to say it was Shauna commented that this was indeed. Yes, it was Sh um, Shauna. So she did let me know that my sniffer was right. This is indeed a patchouli and jasmine scent. So if you guys know me, you know I love patchouli. You know I love jasmine. This was a favorite of mine. I absolutely am head over heels about this scent. Um, I went online. I saw that there was one available. I debated picking it up. There's nothing else I really needed from it so i am hoping and like crossing my fingers and toes that this will um be restocked because i love this scent it is so strong and this lasted in my bedroom in my yankee candle centerpiece warmer for like four days solid it was so so strong the first day and then once it kind of toned down a bit and became more of like that rich um patchouli type of scent it was even better um it was a little bit floral floral at first from the jasmine mostly strong on that for the first day and then it toned down and then it was just a perfect blend of both and i loved the scent 10 out of 10 wood repurchase um i love it 100 percent. okay this one is rockefeller lights and this one um i remember posting the notes on my instagram page but i, I think it was just like a like a bubbling champagne fruity type of scent and that's exactly what it smelled like to my nose i stuck this in my bathroom it was beautiful little shapes of like ivy i really like this one it was 
for a bathroom. It was like a really nice, fresh kind of fruity performer. It was good. Um, this one is St. Nicholas Drive, and this is Sugar Berries, Candy Canes, Mistletoe, Vanilla, Cinnamon. And this, to my nose, was very light. It was like a 3 out of 10, and it was, I wrote, slightly medicine-like. So um, this is definitely not a repurchase for me. Didn't love that one. This one here is Secret Santa, which is dark berry, strawberry, and champagne. This is another one kind of similar to that um, other, the Rockefeller Light scent. And I wrote, look up scent notes, which I did it right on the front there. Very unique. Um, Tom loved this one. Tom loved. Uh, eight out of 10. So that would be something to put on my list as well. This one here is a hauntingly Dickens tail. Um, not 100% sure what the notes are on this one. I feel like when I looked it up, I couldn't find it, but it might be on there now. Um, it might have been at a weird time that I just couldn't figure it out. But this was a good scent. I remember it being something that I liked, but definitely wasn't like, over the moon about or else I would have been like starring the bag. Um, moving on, I have three bags of Rose Girls that I was able to completely finish up. This first one here is Peppermint Mocha Cupcakes and holy moly, this is a 10 out of 10, lasted a long time and was very realistic. I am going to keep my eyes out for more of her peppermint mocha scents, even though we're kind of moving out of that season now that Christmas is tomorrow. Um, will I really need more? No, but did I really love the scent? Yes, um, so I'll definitely keep my eyes peeled. I know that there is a Mario Melter that's got mocha in it, so I might pick that one up if I can get my hands on it during the ready to ship. Um, the next Rose Girls bag is Christmas Eve Cookies in Cookie Land. I gave it a 9 out of 10, strong and yummy, but it did die quickly. I remember that being kind of like, where did it go? Um, this one here is Eggnog Graham Crackers with Cream Cheese Frosting. This was a huge disappointment for me. I said 2.5 out of 10, so sad because I love eggnog, but this was barely their sweetness in the air. So definitely would not pick that one up, but um, Rose Girls, Christmas Eve in Cookie Land, the blend with her eggnog in it, I love. So it's not like the end of the world that that one didn't perform for me. Um, it is a bit disappointing though, of course. This one here is Wet Bandits from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is Marshmallow Fireside Cranberries and Christmas Trees. I just had this going throughout my entire downstairs just so I could finish this bag up because it's getting a little bit older. However, this one was a super strong performer. Marshmallow Fireside, I definitely would not say I picked up on. The cranberry was by far the strongest and it was a very juicy, sweet cranberry. Um, and the Christmas trees, I definitely got a bit of the Christmas trees, but it was mostly that really sweet, rich cranberry. So that was okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase it though. And then I also finished up a bag in Santa's on Keto. And this I gave um, a 7.5 out of 10. Strong, but didn't last super long, maybe three, four hours. It is a nice, super sweet, almost candy-like bakery scent. So that is my thoughts on Santa's on Keto. I did finish up two bags from Salt Mountain Melt. This first one was only a few pieces left of milk and cookies. And this is fresh baked sugar cookies, rich creamy vanilla sugar milk. The throw on this was a five out of 10. It was a bit older, so I'm gonna try to um, assume that that was why, because I do remember this being a bit stronger the first time I melted it. Um, it is just a nice classic like cookies and milk type of blend. This one is Autumn Lane. I finished this up at the very beginning of this month just because there was only a little bit left of this bag. And this is a 2019. This is Cider Lane, Nilla Wafers, and Butterscotch Brulee. And I've already spoke about this one. Um, it definitely would have been stronger had I melted it sooner. So I'm gonna put that on me. It was a 6.5 out of 10. Sometimes it was a little bit stronger. Sometimes it kind of like was a little bit softer. Um, I really loved the scent though and I wish it would come back because I feel like the Cider Lane blended with like the butterscotch was like so so good. Extra extra rich creamy sweetness but I love that kind of stuff. And then I finished up a bag in Fire Roasted Marshmallows from Gypsy Monroe Wax Co. This was also quite old but it was still really really strong. So um, I definitely enjoyed this and can no longer get it so that's that. Um, this here is so funny, but I had to include it. This is Black Forest Pine. And this was like one of those like little tiny Scentsy Cubes that I got from Ashley. She sent this as a sample to me. And so I stuck it right in my warmers because when I sniffed this bag, I was obsessed. I loved it and it's, I said it smelled like the Adirondack. So I ended up um, picking up the scent in a clamshell because it was so, so good. Um, and I haven't melted any of the clamshell, but I'll keep you guys updated of what I think once I melt through that. But amazing scent. It really smells just like being up north in um, New York. So now we are going to move on to Zape. So I have 
all like this is all zape which is insane um i had a lot of zape left over from last year's holiday collection and you know obviously i have a lot that i purchased this year but i finished so many bags that i'm feeling pretty good about it so all right so this first one we have is under the mistletoe which is mistletoe berries and christmas smooches I started originally melting this one in the bathroom because it was kind of like a fresh green, like ivy almost type scent. Um, and then I eventually just wanted to finish this bag up. So I melted it throughout my layout downstairs. This has lasted like a solid two days and is still going strong. So I would say as far as longevity goes, um, amazing for definitely for like vendor wax, it's really doing good. As far as scent, preference goes because of the like almost like I don't it's not bitter but like you know how ivy can almost smell sharp um it was I don't know I don't know if it was my personal favorite but it wasn't something that I wasn't in love with that I had to like pull it from my warmer so I probably wouldn't repurchase that scent but if you like more of like the very realistic green fresh ivy type of scents then under the mistletoe would be a good one to try. This one here is Secret Santa, and this is um, Sparkling Bubbly, Dancing Cranberries, and Crisp Apple. This one to me was just a very fruity scent. As far as like the sparkling champagne, it did smell a bit like champagne, but it wasn't anything that was like a fizzy pop kind of make, like, makes your nose tickle type of scent. That would have been cool if there was like a smidge of fizzy pop in this, because I could see that kind of oomphing this up like a tad bit more, but I did like that one for what it was but I wouldn't personally repurchase that one because there are some more that I have found that are favorites of mine. This one here is Silent Night. This was a mystery bag scent that I received. I'm not sure what the notes are on this. I couldn't find them anywhere on the website or on the Facebook page even, but this one to my nose was a very, very, very strong like floral type of scent and it wasn't any floral that I particularly love, like almost reminded me of maybe like a white floral um, a bit powdery and a little bit headache inducing. So I just personally didn't love that one, um, but it was quite strong, but I pulled that one actually early cause I couldn't do it. This one here is trim the tree. And this one is um, freshly fallen snow, Christmas pine and buttery popcorn garland. And this one I gave an eight out of 10, not my favorite because of the popcorn note. So um, I think I might've mentioned this before. If you really like popcorn scents and wax, then this would be a really good one to try because it was absolutely strong on both the popcorn and the christmas tree scent so it really smelled like if you had strung up your christmas tree with like a popcorn garland that's exactly what it smelled like but it just wasn't my personal favorite scent preference this one here is elf cookies which is sugar cookie dough almond macarons vanilla buttercream frosting and this one to me was very light it was a three out of ten um light nutty cookie scent sad face wish it was stronger um, yeah, I remember this one being a bit stronger the first year that I picked this one up, but this year it really lost its scent throw. So that was a bummer, um, but probably my fault for not just using it up quicker. This one here is Bad Santa, which is fireplace, embers, Christmas trees, and cinnamon sticks. And this one, there's a book on the back I wrote. So 7.5 out of 10 it reminds me of a scent that would be going at a family member's house for Christmas, a warm classic holiday scent. So this, like I said, kind of like a, your typical Christmas type of scent because of the cinnamon in the tree, but um, maybe not my personal favorite. I know that the Bad Santa scent from Zape is like a favorite among so many, but I, I do feel like there are other scents from Zape that I personally just prefer over that one. So it probably wouldn't be a repurchase. Um, I'm saying like all of these aren't repurchases, but I should say I'm happy that I have melted through all of these. I'm just not going to repurchase scents unless I'm like absolutely in love because I'm just so overwhelmed with my collection right now. Um, anyway, moving on, this is Letters to Santa, which is Honey Vanilla and Santa's Pipe Tobacco. And I wrote on the back, seven out of 10, super unique and dimensional, a very rich, warm tobacco. This is one that I would possibly repurchase if this one came back but probably in like a clamshell shape because it was so unique and just like something different not your typical christmas scent that i was really kind of drawn to this so possibly repurchase on on that one um this one here is ugly sweater this is another scent that was in a um mystery box or mystery sampler from zape 
not 100 sure what the notes are on this but it did smell possibly like there was maybe like a cashmere like a it was like a like a fresh clean laundry possibly like a cashmere type of scent i liked it probably wouldn't repurchase that one though this one here is peppermint candy this is another mystery sampler scent that i was um scent and this to me wasn't a favorite as well something about this one was like i don't know like the the vanilla of like the peppermint candy stick like the peppermint and the vanilla like the balance was off it was more like a sweet it was it was definitely like a sweet peppermint but i almost wanted more of like I it was almost like lacking the pow of the peppermint so it was just a weird balance to me i don't know why because i'm not even like a peppermint person but it was too sweet. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I also had this going in my bathroom, which I think was like too weird of a place to have a sweet, like that sweet of like a candy scent. It threw me off. I don't know, you guys. If I had put that in my in my bedroom, maybe I would have loved it. I might have messed up there. <laughs> um, this one here is Days of Christmas, which is sweet pear, crisp apple, spiced orange, and vanilla cream. This is a really, really, really like fruity but like almost like a cold fruity type scent. I gave it an eight out of 10, super fruity and creamy. Oh yeah, there we go, creamy. That's the perfect word for this. It was like a creamy fruit, um, not spicy at all. And a funny thing about this one is I put it in my bedroom the first time I melted it and I felt like it wasn't very strong, but my partner, Tom, he was in the bedroom like playing chess or something one night and he was like, I gotta leave this room, it's like too strong. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah. So the next day I put it throughout the whole house and he was right. This thing packed a punch. So probably wouldn't repurchase that just because I felt like it was too fruity for like a wintertime Christmas scent, but had it come out like in the summer, maybe I'd be more on board with it. Um, this one here is Christmas Eve, which is crackling fire, fur and balsam and toasted marshmallows. This I don't think was available this year. I, I, I want to say it was not available. However, you guys, I loved this. It was a nine out of 10. So good. Classic Christmas time scent, like sitting by a fireplace near a tree. And I definitely would repurchase this hundred percent Christmas Eve. I hope that this comes back next year because it is just a beautifully classic Christmas time scent, in my opinion, and a fantastic performer. I loved that one. This one here is Holly Days, which is Holly Berries, Woody Christmas Greens, Juicy Apples, Ripe Raspberries, and Sweet Plum. And this one I loved. So this one almost slightly reminded me, um, like very, very little bit of um, the Under the Mistletoe scent. And I think, I think the Holly Berry scent or maybe the holly berry or woody christmas green is the same as the mistletoe berries i think that that is the same scent oil however the um this one under the mistletoe is a bit like sharper and like kind of tart almost like a bitter type green fresh scent um maybe a little bit like on the astringent side and then this one i think because of the addition of the juicy apple the ripe raspberries and the sweet plum it just made it so rich and like delicious. So this one would absolutely be a repurchase in comparison to like the under the mistletoe. So I hope that this one comes back because I really like that one. So yeah, that's it you guys. Those are 40, woo, those are 40 empties that I used for the month of December, which is nuts. And like I showed you in the beginning of this video, I have a huge over like overwhelming amount of wax that I used partial amounts of. Um, so I am going to end this video here and stay tuned to see what I melted but didn't finish and my thoughts on all those. So um, thanks for sticking through this pretty long video. I hope you guys, if you celebrate Christmas, you have an amazing Christmas, a very safe, happy and healthy one. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys.